What's going on, y'all, man? Back at it again. This is your boy Bezo with Wills. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, look, I know y'all probably wondering what the hell is going on. I don't know if y'all seen my last video, but I had painted a red charger. Um, it used to be black, and I painted it red. But I got some special instructions. He wants to go ahead and paint all the interior. I guess it's going to be a show car. No, nah, it's going to be a show car. Um, he wants the interior to match the outside of the car. So that's what we going to do, man. We ain't going to ask no questions, man. We just going to dive right into it. As y'all can see, I got the door panels already uh, masked up. Those index cards come in handy, boy. Oh, my gosh. You're going to be fighting trying to get that uh, the tape to stick to that leather. Man. This is going to be interesting because I have not done this before. But it's the first time for everything. If it don't work out, trial and error, y'all see it first. All of these pieces are getting hit red. They're going to be cleared. Um, it's some type of fabric pieces. These, well, no, nah, never mind. thought they were fabric. But other than that, man, everything is going red. Um, and he does not know that I am going to go ahead and put the flakes in it as well in the clear coat. We're going to see how good that lays down. I guess this could be a tutorial on how to paint the interior of your car. Um, if it can, if it can come out, man, more than likely you can paint it. So, um, here's your heating promoter right here, Bulldog heating promoter. But I do have the, uh, high tech heating promoter as well. Um, gotta figure out how to, I've used it before, but I just, I was iffy on it. I played around with it. I haven't seen any issues come after that lately. So, um, oh man, y'all bear with me, man. It's the first time be painting the interior. I'm gonna show y'all step by step with the orders I'm going in. Here we go. But if you don't have a adhesion promoter, man, don't, don't sweat it. I've painted without using adhesion promoter. Um, and it was fine. It's just, if it's, if it's going to be on the outside of the car, I would probably lean more on the adhesion promoter, but this is going to be inside. So it shouldn't be no issue. You know, it doesn't have to deal with weather or anything like that. And this part is for the ones that's probably interested in knowing how to mix paint or using these mixing cups. Uh, okay, say you want to buy, I don't know, candy red paint for your car. Okay, cool. They're going to give you the kit. They're going to give you the paint and the reducer. And you're probably going to need a mixing cup too. Okay, so you're gonna look at the back. When you get home, you wanna look at the back of the can. Okay, what this one say? This one say, boom, okay. One to one, which is normal, is normally one to one, or it, uh, it gets you a better hide, which is two to one. So, let's disregard the two to one. Let's act like that's not there for the beginners, okay? So when you buy your, your paint, whatever paint you want, candy you want, whatever, it should say one to one, like this candy right here. This should say, okay, cool. This should say two to one. So it don't give you no options, just two to one. Let's act like this is just one to one. So we're gonna grab, you see, if you see these columns, red, one to one, then you see two to one. So one to one is for this because it say one to one, two to one, it's for this because it say two to one. And then say another one was over there with three to one. You stay in the three to one column, the red, red to red, wall to wall. And then say another paint was four to one. Anyways, we gonna do one to one. So if your paint say one to one at home, you gonna pick your one to one column. Let me see if I can do this right here. One to one column, which is from red wall to this red wall. All right, so we only gonna no, we're gonna need a lot. We're gonna need about five ounces. So therefore, we're gonna pour up the first number. Always, first number is paint, regardless if it's a thousand. Like if the number goes all the way to a thousand, this is one. This is paint reducer, paint reducer. If it kept going to paint reducer, paint reducer. Anyway, so first number is paint. We're gonna pour it to the five because that's how much we're gonna need. Uh, first number is paint, second number is reducer. Boom. Remember, first number is paint, second number is reducer. Then we're going to go one exact bar over and match it to the five with the reducer. We'll take it all the way up to the five. You just match it. Whenever you're mixing, your numbers should be exact every time. Gonna go up to the five. Boom. 
spoon. Might not be, it might have went a little bit over, but hey, it's okay. So, if we was doing this candy, you see how I say two to one? We'll do the exact same thing, but in the two to one column. When the numbers change, just, your, your first number is the column and your first number is your paint. So, boom. This one say two to one. So we would literally pour this, uh, say we wanted to do the same amount. We'll go to the two to one column. And then we would say we only need about, say we need about five ounces. You go in the two to one column. I'm in my two to one column. That's the one to one column, two to one column. Anyway, we're gonna pour up to the five and we're gonna match the number. Boom. Fill it up with the paint. Paint is the first number. The second number is reducing. You need to match five, five. And then say you went three to one. Say you want to do four ounces. Four ounces of paint, four ounces of reducer. Match it, match it. You need to go up. Always remember, paint is first, then reducer. That's your paint, this your reducer. That's your paint, this your reducer. Down here, paint, reducer. Just remember that. And the first number is what column you're in. Clear coat. This, this mug say four to one. Go to four one column. Find your four to one. That's the, the first number is your column and the first number is the paint. Every single time. Now, I don't know what these numbers are, so disregard. I don't know. So I just pay attention to these. I come over here and be like, man, I need some, I need some of that candy, candy. Boy, I need something stupid for the cop. All right, man. Ooh, look. Look at this clear coat. This clear coat is two to one. So you find your two to one column. Back over here, we're gonna find two to one. Say we need about five ounces, five, and then one little bar over, five. Two, you see that, two to one. All right, all right, all right, all right. We got the DV1 loaded up at about 12 PSI. Good to go, man. Let us stand. Oh, we upside down. Oh. All right, man, let's get it. First thing we're gonna do is just tack it on, man. You wanna tack it on, like I said, you don't wanna run it. You just wanna just whoop. Alright, that ought to be good. That ought to be good. man we just ran out of paint um all right so what i did as y'all can see look at this area and then look at that area over there see how it's a little bit darker i was just trying to i was just trying to find my friction zone me uh meaning basically i'm just watching how the paint lay down i'm like okay cool this is fine this ain't doing nothing what if i go a little bit heavier want a little bit of heavier over here nothing it, it actually laid down fairly fairly smooth next time around i can apply this much paint uh, to make my job a little bit faster doing like this obviously it'll take a little longer but still trying to i'm just trying to perfect it trying to make sure it lay down but this is just a light little coat uh other than that man this thing is gonna be sharp uh custom interior man i do it all man so um i'm having fun with it man um so y'all stay tuned man anything is possible uh 
this first coat, getting ready to shoot the second coat. Let's get it. And, um, so, if you like what you see and you're satisfied, man, I think she'll be fine without you having to clear it. I'm anxious to see how it's gonna be when you clear it. Um, Lay down fairly, 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 fairly good. Uh, don't see no issues. Look fairly damn smooth, too. That thing look like he bought it like that, boy. Stop it. Um, yeah, so this is how we looking when it's not clear. Now, obviously, let's go ahead and pop this garage over and see if we can get a little bit of sunlight. Hurry up, because it is fairly windy. Ooh. That's bloody red right there. Let's see, uh, let's check out this piece. Let's see how you get in the sun. Ooh. So the interior of the car will look this color red. Now, that's nice. That is really, really nice. So, door panels, all of that, etc. Uh, Y'all see it? Glove box, boom, boom, boom. Um, I'm anxious, man. This is gonna be one, one red car. Got to go ahead and clear it, man. Y'all stay tuned. Like I said, we are gonna go ahead and put the flakes in it. Um, he didn't say to put the flakes in it or anything like that, but we're gonna go ahead and do it. Why not? This thing gonna be hard. Honestly, I don't think he thinks it's possible to put the flakes in there. That's why I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, and I know my guy, he's, he's real, real cool, genuine dude. Uh, he's always telling me to just have at it, have fun, freestyle this thing. Um, so we're gonna do what it do, baby. All right, let's make it happen. All right, man, same rules applies, man. It's the clear coat. You want that clear, you want that wet, wet. Nah, um, okay, two to one. Like I said, remember what I said earlier in class today. Uh, we gonna find the two to one column because the first number is the column and the main source, which is would be technically, this is paint, but First number is the clear coat. Second number is the activator. So two to one, we're going to need a lot. Let's max it out at five. Y'all see it? Boom, boom, boom. Let's make it happen. Go up to the five. On the five on the two to one column. Because I'm in the two to one column. First row is the, the clear coat, the actual clear coat, which is paint, basically. And then we get the activator. Boom, boom, boom. And we at the five on the two to one column. So you see the two, see the two. Now we're going to go to the second number, the one activator. I'm going to go up to the five on that. Oh, woo, woo, woo. My bad. We're going to go to activator with the straight to the five. We just matching the numbers. That's all we doing, matching the numbers. Five and five, two to one. Boom, boom, boom. Let's now, normally, normally you wouldn't, I guess. I've heard a lot of people say don't put any pearls or flakes. Per pearls is probably okay, but flakes through here, through your good gun, um, which I wouldn't, but I don't have nine different guns. You know what I'm saying? So got to make it work. Got to do what it do. Uh, about to go ahead and put the flakes in the clear coat. I guess a reasonable amount. It doesn't take a lot. So let's get it. So I probably only shot flake a few times. Not enough, but I kind of, I kind of messed up. I, I put the flakes in my first batch of clear which normally uh i think you want to just go ahead and dust the primer on first and then your second uh a second coat you want to add the uh flakes because when you start spraying that flake is going to bounce off it's not be it's not going to be able to stick to anything tack the clear on with no flakes then on your second coat go ahead and put the flakes and then the third coat third or fourth coat or whatever you want to no flakes at all because you want to try and bury the flakes because you don't want to fill it. I've had a paint job where I've actually felt the flakes because what I did was tacked it. Then my second coat, I hammered it with the flakes and then uh, hammered it with some more flakes. And after that, I could feel it when it dropped. So right now, as you can see, I got to get rid of the flakes. So just filtering it out so that my first batch will be just straight clear coat.
All right, so I'm speaking to the ones that are actually interested in painting their interior, but are con kind of concerned on how it would turn out. It just depends on the type of material your interior of your car is. Bear with me. Okay, so if your door panel is smooth, such as this area right here, the whole door is like this, then man, that shit is gonna look beautiful. It's gonna look immaculate. But if your door panel has pores, if that makes sense, bear with me guys. If it has the rubbery um, texture already, you're not gonna get the results as this, such as that. It's a lot smoother, it's a lot cleaner. Um, if you ask me to get rid of that, you would probably have to either fiberglass it or, or just throw a sheet of glaze to fill all those little pores in because you're just not going to get the results. Like I said, does it look good to me? Hell yes. Um, it just depends on how, some, some, some of you cats might be like, eh, hell no, nah, that's, that's not, no, nah, that's not the biz because you can kind of see the grittiness, but, uh, I am going to do another coat. Like I said, um, I'm just trying to give y'all a better understanding for the ones, like I said, who are interested in doing this. Now, these pieces already had that gritty look to it. It was just a certain color, you know? So you're not able to tell, but once you cleared it, like if I never painted it red and I just cleared the, the tan look that it was before, you would see all of this. So um, it just it just depends on how you are. If you're okay with that, then, then cool. Um, if you ask me to get rid of that grittiness, you would, like I said, Throw a sheet of glaze over the whole. It's going to be some work, but Katz is probably doing it. Throw a sheet of fiberglass or glaze the whole thing. Uh, Bondo, as in, you know, some thin glaze or whatever. Smooth it, sand it out to fill in those crevices. Um, is is That's just me. That's just, I think. I think. I don't know. You probably have to ask like a, a professional. I, I honestly think if you put enough primer on there, it should fill it in really, really smooth. Um, the grittiness and the the texture uh, but like I said it's trial and error and we're just trying to figure it out at the same time but if you ask me I think it looks pretty good I think it'll look better once I do a coat or two of the um, of clear because it's my second coat so I think if we do one more coat of clear I'm gonna just let this sit for about 30 minutes probably a little less than that and then hit one more coat one more good coat and see how it look after that then we're gonna let that dry time uh, allow it to dry and then really go from there. So y'all stay tuned, man. Uh, just tell me what y'all think, man. Overall, I think once it's all put together, I think it'll look A1, like I said. Um, to get rid of that grittiness, you would either, like I said, either have to go get new door panels or, or, just, or just play around with it. You would really have to do some studying. You really have to do some playing around. Other than that, man, we're going to let it sit and then tackle that third coat. Look how these came out. So these look super good. Now I was hoping and wishing that the, the door panels would come out like that. Um, the door panels and the other, and some of the other pieces will come out like that. But since the texture and the plastic was already smooth like that, that's the results nine times out of 10 is what you're gonna get versus uh, the rubber and the leather and the plastic. Since it has those thick pores, um, not really a whole lot you can do that I know of, especially for this being my first time. Like I said, I think I think if I would have primed it, um, I think if I would have primed it, it would have probably helped, which makes more sense. But like I said, it's the first time. And now, now if I would have primed it and something went wrong, then I would have been like, damn, I wish I wouldn't have primed it. But like I said, trial and error, I think next time we get another pair of a uh, set of door panels or we get another set of interior pieces we know what to do now maybe a couple thick coats of primer then paint it then clear it and uh we'll go from there and, and see what type of results you get from there other than that i do love it it came out really damn good honestly i cannot wait to see what it looked like inside the car um so yeah man y'all feel free to uh leave comments leave any suggestions um definitely still learning i'm definitely still in the process of trying to get better and better 
Um, not perfect, far from perfect. I am open to learn a lot more. Like I said, I don't really have nobody to really get guidance from besides the internet. Um, other than that, man, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, feel free to slap anything in the comment. Could definitely use the advice. So appreciate y'all watching.